Hello friends, myself Mohammad Mohsen Mushir, and today I am going to discuss about artificial airways. So, what are artificial airways? They are basically different types of tubes that are inserted in the patient to uh, make sure that the airway is patent. So, the main purpose of artificial airway. is to keep the airway patent and prevent it from collapsing so you can say that artificial airways are devices that keeps the airway patent in simple words there are various types of artificial airways some are inserted through nose or nasopharyngeal airway some are in inserted through uh, mouth oral cavity for example we have here endotracheal tube some are inserted through uh, a hole in trachea but after a procedure called tracheostomy so we have here tracheostomy tube so these are the artificial airways but this video is going to be confined only about the endotracheal tube and the tracheostomy tube so the next topic i would like to discuss is the intubation so what is intubation so intubation is a process of inserting these tubes in the patient's airway to keep it patent and extubation on the other hand is just the opposite we are taking out these tubes after some procedures like suctioning mechanical ventilation so now i am going to discuss about the endotracheal tube which is uh, the first type of airway as you can see this is the endotracheal tube it is a curved tube and there are various parts of endotracheal tube this is the adapter also called the connector which is connected to a mu bag or mechanical ventilator now this is the pvc tube the curved tube as you can see through which the pressure ventilation is provided is the pvc tube also called polyvinyl chloride tube and this is the tip of endotracheal tube also called bevel now bevel is sometimes right face or left faced and this is the cuff which is inflated after inserting the endotracheal tube in the trachea it basically prevents the uh, conditions like gerd for example gastroesophageal reflux so let's say the patient has gerd so the stomach contents are coming upwards and it can lead to aspiration so what will happen that if we are inflating this cuff which is inflated through this pilot balloon after using a syringe we pump air through this and this cuff gets inflated and when this cuff gets inflated it basically uh, provides a friction so so we are maintaining the endotracheal tube in one position and it also prevents the back flow of air or back flow of ventilation the pressures that we are providing through ventilator or let's say ambu bag now coming to indications when are we going to use endotracheal tube so endotracheal tube is mostly used for intubating purpose so mechanical ventilation is one contraindication through this we are providing intermittent positive airway pressure we can also use the tube during cpr when we are shifting the patients through wards and icus so we are what we are basically using ambu bag from here and we are providing the pressure ventilation or airway pressure to the airways and coming to some contraindications so what are the contraindications first contraindication is the cervical spine injury so when a patient has cervical spine injury we generally do not use endotracheal tube and then we have malam patients with malam patti scale of 3 and 4 and let's say the patient has some kind of airway trauma so the next tube in front of me is the tracheostomy tube now before i uh, explain you the tracheostomy tube i would like to explain you what is tracheostomy so tracheostomy is a procedure where doctors create a hole in trachea in this region and they insert this tube called tracheostomy tube into the airway and like it tube it also has an is has a connector which is connected to either uh, ambu bag or ventilator so the main purpose 
is to keep the airway patent like i said earlier so now this is the tracheostomy tube as you can see so explaining the parts of tracheostomy tube so it has like always a connector this inside this tracheostomy tube is the obturator this is the outer cannula and there is an inner cannula this is the neck plate through which it is inserted uh, the tracheostomy tube is inserted through a hole and this neck plate it keeps the tracheostomy tube in its place and this is the cuff like uh, the one in endotracheal tube and through this pilot balloon we inject some air and this cuff gets inflated and it keeps the tracheostomy tube in its position so it is placed in neck something like uh, this and now talking about the indications of tracheostomy tube so we are going to use tracheostomy tubes in burns in coma uh, the patients with cancer the, there is a neck cancer and uh, some diaphragmatic abnormalities and to keep the airway patent now contraindication when we are not going to use tracheostomy tube so the contraindications are uh, there are some patients whose uh, neck size is very less for example morbidly obese patient there uh, due to excess neck fat there are there is accumulation of fat uh, around the neck it makes the tracheostomy procedure difficult so tracheostomy is contraindicated in those conditions patients with coagulopathies we are not going to use tracheostomy in uh, patients with coagulopathies because it is an invasive procedure so thank you for watching this video on uh, artificial airways if you like this video do like share and please subscribe thank you